on June 16, preliminary results about dexamethasone were released from the recovery trial. It showed that low-dose dexamethasone reduced deaths by one-third in severely ill, hospitalized COVID-19 patients. According to Peter Hobby, one of the chief investigators in the trial, this makes dexamethasone the first drug with proven efficacy in COVID-19. For details and numbers, let's start at the beginning. COVID-19 emerged in December 2019 in China and started spreading across Europe in March earlier this year. With no improved treatment available, several medications already in use like hydroxychloroquine and azithromycin were suggested and tried as potential treatment options. Researchers at the University of Oxford decided to start what was to become the largest randomized control trial of COVID-19 treatment. The trial was designed to compare potentially effective drugs against the usual hospital care. Recruitment into the trial started on 23rd March and it turned to be the fastest recruiting randomized trial with more than 11,500 patients already enrolled and ongoing. The patients are divided into five treatment arms and a control group who will receive the usual hospital care only. Patients in each treatment arm will receive one of these five medications, hydroxychloroquine which is an antimalarial and anti-inflammatory drug, azithromycin, which is an antibiotic, the combination of anti-HIV drugs lopinavir, ritonavir, dexamethasone, a low-cost, easily available therapeutic corticosteroid, and the final arm would be convalescent plasma. A second randomization will be done for patients who continue to deteriorate while on one of these treatments. They would be randomized to receive tocilizumab, an anti-inflammatory drug or continue with usual care. Recruitment of adult patients to the dexamethasone arm was stopped on June 8, with 2,104 patients, which the researchers considered sufficient. Preliminary results of these 2,104 patients were released on June 16. The comparison group, which received usual hospital care only, had 4,321 patients. In the control group, the mortality rate for patients who required ventilation was 41%. Dexamethasone reduced number of deaths in this group by one-third. In patients who required supplemental oxygen only but not ventilation, the mortality rate was reduced by one-fifth. No difference in mortality was observed in patients who did not require any respiratory assistance. This means that one death would be prevented for every 8 ventilated patients and every 25 patients on oxygen when dexamethasone is used. On 5th June, results from hydroxychloroquine arm of the trials was released, which showed no benefit from the use of this drug, due to which further recruitment into that arm was stopped. 